Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about solving inequalities by multiplying or dividing. Similar to last night's video and similar to uh, solving equations with multiplying and dividing, it's exactly the same except for one important difference. So I'm going to go over two examples first that show you how it is the same as solving equations. So we'll start with this one. We'll say, uh, oops, let me get this. So let's try 6x is less than negative 48. <clears throat> and so we would, to solve this, we would divide by 6 on both sides. Uh, make sure that we show the answer here and the sign stays the same direction. And we have negative 48 divided by 6 is, I think, negative uh, 8. And then to graph that, that's kind of diagonal, but that's all right. To graph that, we'll have negative 8. Um, show at least two numbers on your graph, because I noticed some people putting these numbers out of order. Uh, some people are putting the negative 6 on this side, so let's make sure we uh, show two numbers to, to practice the number line and how it works, especially on the negative side. Um, and then uh, we have less than negative 8, so that's an open circle at negative 8, and we're shading less than. Make sure to shade that arrow to show that um, it goes on forever and ever in that direction. All right, let me do another example here. We can also have a division. So if I have y divided by 7 is greater than negative 8, um, to solve that, I need to multiply both sides by 7. Uh, that fruit ninjas the 7s there. And then we get y is greater than negative 56. If we're going to graph that, Let's show two different numbers. So uh, we'll have negative 56 here. Uh, we could have maybe negative 40 or something here. Any number, really. And to graph it, open circle at negative 56. And it's greater than, so we're shading this direction. Excuse me, my allergies are getting the best of me today. Um, <clears throat> now let me show you a couple examples of where it is different than solving equations. So uh, this example, I'm going to do negative 5w is less than or equal to 30. Okay. Now we're going to do it the same way. We're going to divide both sides by negative 5. Divide both sides by negative 5. We fruit ninja the negative 5s, leaving us with w is less than or equal to negative 6. All right, now let's double check this. So less than or equal to negative 6, so I'll pick, a, I'll pick an easy number, uh, like negative 10 or something. If I plug that into the original, negative 5 times negative 10 would be uh, 50, which is not less than or equal to 30. <clears throat> so this is not right. The reason that's not right, I'll show you over here to the side with actual numbers. So negative 2 is less than negative 1. That's a fact. However, when I multiply both sides by negative 1, what happens is I get a positive 2 and a positive 1. And we know it's a fact that 2 is greater than 1. And so what happens is when we are doing the opposite, remember, which is what multiplying by a negative does, if we're taking the opposite then the opposite is true inequality wise. So whenever you're multiplying both sides by a negative number, you have to switch that equality symbol um, to the other direction. Okay? And so we can see how that works here. W is greater than or equal to negative 6. And let's pick a number that's greater than 6, like 0. Negative 5 times uh, 0 would be 0, and that is less than or equal to 30. Okay, so make sure when you're multiplying or dividing, oh yeah, I didn't mention that. So if you're multiplying by a negative number or dividing by a negative number, you must switch the direction of the sign. So let's do another example. And we'll do um, n divided by negative 2. is greater than negative 5. And again, so I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 2. 
And I don't switch the sign yet. I'm going to switch that sign in the next step. Um, so we fruit ninja the negative twos over here, and then we end up with n. And again, we're multiplying by a negative number. So I'm going to switch that sign. The sign goes from greater than to a less than. And then negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. And then we would graph that, which I'm not going to do right now in the interest of time. Uh, so let's do another example. Let's do uh, negative 8b is greater than or equal to negative 24. So to solve this, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 8. So remember, we are dividing by a negative number. So when we solve it, the sign will change direction. Negative divided by negative is positive. So let's say b is less than or equal to positive 3. And remember, I'm changing the signs there. <clears throat> Let me show you an example of when you would not change the sign. So let's say I had uh, 6, 6 b. No, let's not use b. Let's use t. 6 t is less than negative 36. Okay. The rule is that you have to be dividing by a negative number or multiplying by a negative number. Okay. The fact that a negative number might be involved in the calculation is not what changes the sign. It's what you're doing. So in this case, I'm dividing by 6. So this sign will not change. The fact that there is a negative number in the, in the uh, calculation, that's not what changes the direction. What changes the direction is this number that we're that we're dividing by or multiplying by in in other cases this is positive and that's what would change it so in this case we do not change the direction and uh, negative divided by positive is negative so the direction stays the same here um, if this were a negative six we're dividing by then the direction would change all right 